time sure flies and it's already day 7 of the ASEAN University Games. More badminton action coming up today as we see Aaron Tan take on Malaysia in the men's single semi-finals event and on top of that we have some judo action coming up as well as the women's football bronze medal match between Singapore Combined Uni and the Laos Combined Uni team. Until then stay tuned to more updates from us at Vox Sports. So in today's badminton's men's single semi-finals, our athlete Aaron Tan will be taking on Malaysia. So I have here with me the man himself, looking calm as ever. So Aaron, maybe you want to tell us what's running through your mind right now? Well, I guess uh, nothing much. Uh, just uh, some preparation for the match later and uh, we'll see what is installed. Well, I understand that you've played this person before, this athlete before from Malaysia. I mean, um, so have you actually studied his techniques and ways, you know, when we're surfing? And so, you know. Yeah, of course. Uh, I played him in a team event, uh, lost to him um, then. But uh, I guess I'm more prepared right now. S in terms of style of play and strategy wise, I'm more prepared. And I'll see what I, what I can come up with later. Right, thank you, thank you, Aaron. We we'll wish him all the best and hopefully we can qualify for the finals. Fingers crossed. So we're just done with the men's single badminton semi-final event and our man Aaron Tan, you know, he made our nation proud, uh, qualifying himself into, into the finals. Comfortable win for him and I have here with me the man himself. Maybe you want to tell us what went through your mind during the game or maybe how are you feeling right now actually? Well, uh, feeling fantastic. <laughs> well, making it to the finals was, uh, was the target from day one. So making it there is uh, so far, target is uh, halfway there, halfway accomplished, yeah. Now, having played him, do you think um, it, w it really worked in your favour? I mean, knowing how he plays and whatnot, do you think it really worked in your favour? Yeah, a little bit, um, because we had an encounter in a team event uh, previously, so more or less um, I'm able to figure out his style of play and his uh, kind of like frequent shots and stuff. So I was able to look, at, look after those uh, weakness and able to capitalise on it, on the strengths and yeah. The game was pretty much mine after I, after the comfortable win in the first. Uh, yeah. Now our nation is at least a short, at least a short, a silver medal in the finals. Now, but I'm pretty sure you're aiming for the goal. I mean, every athlete in the final aims for the goal. So what can we expect from you in the finals? Well, I'm just going to play um, what I've did this uh, one and a half weeks here in Laos. Uh, just give my every my very best, and we'll see what's in store. Because uh, I've not played that player before. He has not played me. Uh, so it's a 50-50 game, it can go either way. Whoever performs better will, will have the advantage. Yeah. All right, surprise, surprise. Congrats, Aaron Tan, once again. And hopefully we get a goal in the finals.
หน่วยงานนาคิดเป็นตัวเลือกของกองทัSo we just got news that our judo team, one of them actually won a goal, and that is Shen Yi. Or is it? Hi. Okay, maybe you want to tell us, how do you feel? Um, just really happy because uh, the same opponent that I fought in the finals, is, uh, she's actually someone that I fought uh, just last month in the Vietnam Open and I lost to her. So, and this time around, you know, uh, given the, uh, it's the same situation in the finals again and I'm playing her and it's a different outcome, so I'm really, really, really happy. How come for this time it worked in your favor? Uh, this time, after the Vietnam Open last month, and my coach did like a, a review, and we we did talk about some techniques and stuff like that, and and uh, to also to find out what what's her, like her strengths and weaknesses. So um, and yeah, and this time around we just uh, did something different with my techniques and stuff. So yeah. Thank you. One more goal in the bag for Team Singapore. Ooh. And that's it for day 7 of the ASEAN University Games. Be sure to log on to our Facebook page or website for more updates from us. Until then, I'm Fares and you're watching Vox Sports. Oh, camera's on. Oh.
Anyway, I have here with me ardent fans of Aaron Tan. As you know, oh, I see, so happy, so jubilant. Yeah, maybe you guys want to share with us what do you all think of the match. Oh, I thought uh, Aaron played quite very well. Um, he was quite composed and he smacked it. Smacked it. Oh, on the floor. No, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought Aaron played well because he, he played the same opener in, during the team's event and he lost and we were really happy that he could, he could win this. This shit. No, I'm quite curious. How come you have one flag and you have so many flags? Because I'm patriotic. I love Singapore. Singapore, there you go. Singapore spirit. Majula Singapura. Majula Singapura. Bye. Bye bye.